Hey buddy, you got the time? And so begins your mugging. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a short video. I just wanted to quickly discuss a very stupid, very simple, and unfortunately very effective trick that muggers use to separate you from your valuables. Now granted, this particular trick is usually used in seedier, sketchier neighborhoods, sometimes more violent neighborhoods, but there's no reason why it can't be used in nicer neighborhoods. Basically, you're walking down the street, someone approaches you from the front, maybe they stop a little bit closer towards you than a typical stranger normally would when they want to ask another stranger a question and maybe they'll look down at your wrist they'll look back up at you and they'll ask you for the time of day and the most common response by most people who are wearing a wristwatch is to look down at their wristwatch and then as soon as you look up in order to tell the stranger what time it is well that split second or that second of distraction is all your mugger needs to have pulled out his gun to have pulled out his knife or if he's physically bigger than you are to have grabbed you and so your mugging begins it could be something a lot more serious than that especially if you're a woman and you're wearing a wristwatch being approached by a guy but basically the only real thing this trick requires is for you man or woman to be wearing a wristwatch and nowadays especially with the Apple watch and with Samsung coming out with a digital watch that's also linked to your phone you know, there's, there's at least a handful of companies coming out with very modern day digital watches which are linked to smartphones. So wearing a wristwatch has become trendy and popular all over again. It doesn't matter if it's a modern day Apple watch. It doesn't matter if it's a more old fashioned watch like the one I'm wearing. The only requirement is that the potential victim is wearing a wristwatch. That's really the only requirement. And like I said, maybe it's something more serious than a mugging, but it's usually a mugging. And if it is a mugging, honestly, if you've fallen for that trick, let them have your money, let them have your valuables. It's not risk. I'm sorry, it's not worth risking your life for a wad of cash or a chain. It's just, it's not worth it. Jewelry, cash, all those things can be replaced. Your life cannot be replaced. So if it is a mugging, just cooperate. If it's something more serious, okay. And cooperation is not what you want to do if it's something a lot more serious than just a mugging. Also, although sometimes muggers will work alone, usually they'll work with a partner, especially when it comes to the watch trick. What's gonna happen is when you look down at your watch this guy's partner he was either hiding in the bushes or he was behind you the whole time further down the street approaching at a slower pace and as soon as you look down now his partner who's behind you he may have run up 
and grabbed you or shoved a weapon in your back. Remember how we talked about the center line in the previous self-defense video? Well, once again, you're on it and instead of having one individual in front of you, now you've got one in front and one in back. And again, if it is just a mugging, your best bet is to cooperate. Guys, I want you to stay safe, but please be aware of this extremely stupid, extremely simple, and extremely effective trick that muggers use. I'm not saying don't wear a wristwatch. I am saying be aware of it. If this happens to you, best thing you can do is to say, sorry, my watch isn't working and immediately disengage. Try to cross the street, just get away from this individual, look back over your shoulder because chances are his partner is back there as well. Try to keep an eye on both of these guys. Just say, sorry, my watch isn't working, immediately disengage. Okay, guys, once again, please stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.